one here about Ben Shapiro, so let me take that. Um, uh, producer Chris says, I dislike the, the egotism of Shapiro's vision. The West is a place where dreams come true with hearts regardless of class, race, and so forth. Before only royalty could do this, religion is a conduit. Humanity belongs to nature. Well, I don't think humanity belongs to anybody. I'm not sure what that even means. But uh, I dislike the, yeah, I mean, to the extent that you find Ben Shapiro's views as anti-certain classes or anti-certain races, um, I would dislike them too, but I don't really see that in Ben. I mean, I, again, I think there are real problems with Ben's attitude, but I don't see, uh, I agree with you, I do agree with you, Producer Chris, that the West is a place of opportunity for everybody. The West is a place where Western civilization, quasi-civilization, not in its practice, because its practice has been amazingly inconsistent, but in its ideal, in its ideal, is a place that's where, where, where racism is irrational and, and rejected out of hand, um, where classism of any sort is rejected, where aristocracy is rejected, where all men are viewed as politically equal, where all men have, men and women, of course, have the equal rights, no matter their sexual orientation, no matter their sex, no matter their... Uh, their national origin, no matter their, uh, no matter their ideas. They are treated equally by the law, and, they, and, and, and what that really means by the law in this context is that they have the equal right to life, liberty, property, and the pursuit of happiness. That's the political manifestation of Western civilization. And slavery, and, and Jim Crow racism, and just plain everyday racism and white supremacy and nationalism of any uh, of, of the kind we're seeing on the rise, whether it's the Trump kind or the Orban kind or the, or the uh, uh, Marie Le Pen kind, but also the kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, identity politics of the left and the blame everything on the West and the racism of the left, all of that is anti-Western. All of it is anti-Western. It's a rejection of the fundamental nature of the West. So today, the one thing that unites left and right is a rejection of the fundamental core values of Western civilization. And that is what is so sad, and that's why I keep saying Western civilization is committing suicide. It's committing suicide by committee. It's committing suicide by its entire intellectual class. There are few, very, very few, who are standing up to try to defend what Westernization is really, right? And In that sense, it is, it is, you know, it's going away by default. Everybody's attacking it. If the left wins, Western civilization is dead. If the right wins, Western civilization is dead. If, if Viktor Orban is, is, is victorious, Western civilization, there's no, Western civilization is dying in Hungary. Not that Hungary was particularly a, ever a symbol of Western civilization. Um, if, if Marie Le Pen wins in France, she will you know, continue the destruction of Western Association. But the same is true of the, of the left. And people like Macron are basically allowing Western civilization to die by default because they represent nothing. And that nothingness is what will also, you know, allows all everything, you know, all these other ideologies to fill in the vacuum and destroy it.